lightsaber friends. I've got a brand new blade here for Jonathan. This one is the brightest Neo Pixel in the entire galaxy. It is called the TriStar because it's got three strips of Neo Pixel LEDs inside for over 300 Neo Pixel LEDs inside this 30 inch blade, which means there's 900 diodes if you count R, G, and B, which is its own separate diode inside every LED. We have 900 diodes here inside this TriStar. It's shaped in a triangle formation around this piece of wood. It is a very, very lightweight wooden dowel that I've sanded to be a triangle, and that's what I adhere the NeoPixel skinny strips to. Now this dowel is only slightly bendable. Now the polycarbonate blade is usually very, very durable because it's bendable, and the strips in the NeoPixel normal standard blades that I make with two strips do not include a piece of wood and they're very very flexible you could duel with them because the polycarbonate blade will bend and the neopixel strips will bend as well but if you have a TriStar like Jonathan do not duel with it because the piece of wood inside will break if it bends too much. It only has a little bit of bendiness to it. Certainly not as much as the NeoPixel strips and certainly not as much as the polycarbonate blade which can bend a lot under stressful conditions like dueling. So I do not recommend dueling for a TriStar. A TriStar is to have the brightest blade out there, not necessarily to go out and duel with it. Test this blade inside my Graflex lightsaber from FX Sabers Forum. Thank you, Michael Murphy. This is an incredible lightsaber. Michael Murphy is Yoda on the FX Sabers Forum. He runs FX Sabers, and if you'd like the best Graflex, you can ask Michael Murphy. <laughs> TriStar looks very, very smooth. It is a trans white blade with a parabolic blade tip, and I've sanded it so that I get extra diffusion, even though there's a lot of layers of diffusion in here. I've got four layers of heat shrink diffusion. I've got closed cell foam from the Custom Saber Shop. I have a layer of, ne of nylon diffusion from the Custom Saber Shop, which is another closed cell a piece of plastic that uh, further diffuses. Let's go through some of the colors here. Oh, the purple looks great. Jonathan, you'll be happy with that purple. Now, the reason why Jonathan chose trans white is so that he could see all the different colors that the RGB can make. Over a million colors. This one here is like a red, but more on the crimson side. This is my favorite red that I've programmed in my lightsaber. I think this one looks absolutely stunning. Now, you can see the tip is very smooth. The whole blade is very, very smooth and even. Let's see the next color. This is kind of like a green. Uh, more, more standard green. Oh, I've got a nice viridian. This is like my favorite color here. I really like this one. This one puts out a lot of light. I think it's time to bring out the sunglasses. 
This thing is just a little too bright. Some nice aqua colors here. Makes the full range of color. Any effects that you can program into your NeoPixel lightsaber, this blade can do it. As long as you've got the standard Pogo pin connector, which everybody's using these days, it's the same, it's the same connection. You just plug and play. The TriStar only comes in one inch to fit three strips of NeoPixel LEDs plus all the diffusion. I've got to make it in one inch. It's not really going to work with the 7 eighths. Oh, nice, nice red again. Okay, well, thank you for ordering this blade, Jonathan. I had a really fun time building it, and I will send it out shortly. I'm just testing, making sure that everything is going to work perfectly for you. If you're looking for a blade like Jonathan's, head on over to CivilizedSabers.com. We've got a whole range of NeoPixel lightsaber blades from the standard version with two strips. Very, very bright, very, very lightweight and great for dueling and great for spinning because I use the skinny strips and they are so lightweight that it feels like you really are holding a lightsaber blade. If you want the brightest lightsaber blade, you want to step it up to the TriStar. want the ultimate ultimate in brightness you need to pick the photon green that excites the most uh, photons because of its chemical enhancement and you actually get uh, the brightest blade possible but you lose out on certain colors like purple and blue there's also enhanced red enhanced blue enhanced amber and you can choose the trans white like Jonathan did to see every single color of the rainbow. Thank you for checking out this video. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and come back for a new video very, very soon. Do you like what I do here on Space Windu channel? You might like my second channel. It's called Comic Book Creation Live. And that's where I work on my latest comic book, Albatross Junction with my friend Kevin. We do a live show every single Wednesday. You might want to drop by and check it out. It's a really cool story that is sort of like Star Wars in some ways. There's some space travel, so a lot of action, alien creatures, monsters, and uh, future Earth, uh, maybe over a thousand years into the future. So go check out Comic Book Creation Live.